Are you confused about the difference between research questions and hypotheses, or you're trying to write them and you're not really sure how? Well, this video is going to cover what a research question and a hypothesis is, the difference between them, and actually how to go between the two as well. If you don't know me, I am Dr. Elena Reister. I got my PhD in chemistry, and now I make videos on this channel to help you master your research. Today, I wanna to talk about research questions versus hypotheses. Your research question and your hypothesis is really going to be fundamental to creating any new research plan or research proposals. So it's really important to actually craft really great research questions, but then a lot of times you also want to have a really good hypothesis. And so we need to understand the difference between those two things and actually how to create great research questions and hypotheses. Whenever you're looking at a research question, it is basically the fundamental starting point of your research project. Once you have an idea, you want to actually formulate that down into a specific question that you're asking. These questions can differ depending on what you're doing, and if you want to know some really great components to research questions, check out this video above where I talk about the six components to great research questions. But you want your research question to be focused and specific enough to where you can actually create a research plan around it. So some examples of research questions could be, what effect does maternal obesity have on fetal development? Or how does age play a role in Twitter usage? Or even something like, what effect does antiandrogens have on fertility? Generally, you're looking at an independent and a dependent variable. So you're looking at an effect of one thing on another thing. You can also ask how does one thing influence another or what effect does it have or why does this influence this? And so all of these are questions that can't be answered by yes or no questions, but really need a full understanding of what's going on in order to be able to answer them. So these are all good research questions to be able to base your studies off of. When you move from a research question to a hypothesis, there's a big difference because really you're moving from a question to a statement. So in a research question, you just have to have the curiosity. So if we're asking what effect does age have on Twitter usage, we just have to have the curiosity of wanting to know that relationship. Whenever we move into a hypothesis, now we actually have to make an educated guess. We need to know something about that situation to be able to make a good educated guess on what's actually happening there. And so that's what a hypothesis is. It's a statement that you make of your best educated guess of what's happening between that relationship. So a hypothesis could be that the younger that someone is, the more likely they are to use Twitter. And so this is answering the question of what effect does age have on Twitter usage? And so we're answering that question with our best guess and the fact that younger people are more likely to use social media and therefore might be more likely to use Twitter specifically. So whenever you're looking at your hypothesis, you can actually convert between research questions and hypotheses by simply answering your research question with your best guess. So if you ask, um, how does obesity affect fetal development? you can turn that into a hypothesis by potentially suggesting that obesity would mean that you have increased lipids in the mom, and so you potentially could have increased lipids or alteration to lipid metabolism in the fetus because it's growing up surrounded by higher levels of lipids. And so that would become your hypothesis that maternal obesity causes altered lipid metabolism during fetal development. So it's actually really easy to convert between a research question and a hypothesis. And this is really important if you are trying to write research proposals because a lot of funding agencies actually want hypothesis-driven research, which means they want for you to have a specific hypothesis that you're studying and not simply the research question that you're studying. So whenever you come up with a research question, make sure you check out that video about the six key components of a good research question and make sure that you're coming up with a good research question 
and then convert that research question into a hypothesis using your best guess and the literature available to you. So before you even get to a research question, you may need actual research ideas. And if you do, I have created videos that I'll link above that can help you with that. But I've also created a 30 day research jumpstart guide that will actually help you with how to move into learning your field and developing those ideas that will be important for you to start building your research questions and hypotheses off of. The guide is completely free to you and the link will be available in the description below this video. And if you want, if you have research questions or hypotheses you're working on, drop them in the comments below and I can give you some feedback on those research questions and hypotheses. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.